everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm making a Korean style sweet and spicy shrimp so hit that subscribe button and watch me cook we're gonna start off with one pound of raw large shrimps pat these down make sure your bowl is also dried out and then add half a cup of potato starch into it with one egg we are gonna mix this up by hand do not be afraid just go ahead and mix everything up and make sure everything is nicely coated You'll see that they will get stuck together, so take the time to separate them to make sure everything's nicely coated and set these aside until we're ready to cook these. As for our veggies, you're gonna see me dicing up everything into small, tiny little pieces. We're gonna dice everything except for the ginger and the garlic. Those we're gonna slice into like matchstick thin pieces. We'll be using all of these all at once toward the end when we make our sauce. If spicy is not the thing for you, go ahead and substitute these with the red and green bell peppers in place of the chili peppers. If your chili peppers were a little bit too thick like mine were, I just sliced it right in half and then chopped it up again. Once you're done with your vegetables, go ahead and just set these aside so that we can start making our sauce. For our sauce, you're going to need all of these ingredients, but if you don't have rice wine, go ahead and just substitute it with water. And also make sure you use your substitutions for your soy sauce and your oyster sauce to make them gluten free so your whole meal can be gluten free. I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these into my bowl and then we're just going to mix it all up. And by the way if you don't know what two and a third tablespoons of sugar is it's just like another teaspoon. So two tablespoons and one teaspoon. Now I thought I could make this a healthier meal by air frying it instead of deep frying it and I wanted to show you guys the outcome of this. So I did go ahead and spray down my basket. I placed about a dozen shrimp in there and then I cooked it for 10 minutes. And this was a sad little outcome that happens when you try air frying. I guess some things aren't meant to be air fried. You want them to be nice and puffy. So I went ahead and heated up two cups of vegetable oil making sure I got my oil all nice and hot so I can deep fry these. And I did these in two parts. Go ahead and fry these for about two to three minutes. You'll see when they're done because obviously the color will change and then they will float up to the top. See how puffy these are? That's the kind of look that you want when you make this uh, recipe. I wanted to show you guys the difference in the shrimp when you deep fry them and air fry them. And then in the second picture, you'll see how my air fryer on the bottom right was all tiny and skinny. I just went ahead and deep fried that again. And we're gonna double fry these just to make sure we get that extra crispiness in there before we throw them all into the pan. If you want your sauce to be a little bit spicier, go ahead and use chili oil or add dried chili pepper flakes into it and then throw your veggies in there and go ahead and saute all of these up together. Saute these until your onions are translucent. It should only take a couple of minutes since we're cooking this on a high heat. Now stir up your sauce before you pour it into the pan because your sugar may have fallen to the bottom. And we're just gonna cook this for about three to four minutes or until your sauce is thick. Go ahead and check it to make sure that it's not too watery and you're just gonna cook this for I think it took me about four minutes or so. Once your sauce has thickened up go ahead and add the shrimp in there. We're gonna stir these around and evenly coat all the shrimp with the sauce. If you'd like go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of sesame oil to top it off. This sweet and spicy shrimp served enough for me and my husband. It's a pound's worth so half a pound per person but it turned out amazing he was really happy with it i liked it a lot too but i hope you guys liked this recipe if you did please subscribe and until the next meal thank you for watching watch me cook